Hello, my beautiful Leos. How are you? It is B, and welcome to Psychic Sounds by B. Thank you so much for joining me. This reading is for Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I hope all of you are well. All right, Leos, what do we got going on for you, Leos? Thank you so much for all the likes, the shares, and the subscribes. I really do appreciate it. And for those of you that wish to subscribe to my channel, please make sure you are clicking on subscribe, and then you are clicking on the notification bell, so you'll be immediately notified when I post my videos. And select all. For those of you that want a membership to my website, or if you want to donate to my channel, or get a reading with me, the links are below. All right, Leos, what have we got for you? Bottom of the deck, the Knight of Pentacles in the upright. So I think for some of you, Leos, you're reticent to share something with someone. Um, you don't know if you should give any more than you've already given. Um, this could be them feeling that way about you as well. This could also be like, should I be purchasing this, you know, thing at this point in time in my life is it wise for me to purchase um could something potentially happen to me if i purchase this thing or is it going to add value you know it could be something like that leo this could be a capricorn a taurus or a virgo as well Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter. But this is very, very slow. This is not a fast... This is not a fast-moving offer by any stretch of the imagination. So, Leos, let's see what we got going on here. Let's get your source energy, my beautiful Leos. What's your source energy? bottom of the deck the five of pentacles so leo something happened here um i think that i think that there was a dynamic where someone was thrown out someone was abandoned there could have been an error a mistress um or you know a mister <laughs> uh, a loss of money being left out in the cold, going through financial hardship, an error or a mistake may have happened. And that's a source energy here. So it's like you, you're waiting to see where you're going to put your time, your energy, and your money. Or maybe you're working on being more stable in your life regarding a certain situation. What is the first source energy? The two of wands reverse. This could have happened in the recent past or this is happening right now. But there is an energy here of wanting to get out of a relationship or wanting to get out of something that is really, really like weighing you down because in the upright, it's like weighing you down, okay? And you want to get out of it. You don't want to be in it anymore. It feels suffocating. It feels like it's too much. This may have been a situation also, Leo, where um, you thought you were in a relationship that was weighing you down, and then you went into another relationship, and it was, like, worse, okay? But overall, this feels like um, someone that you are currently dating or you're married to or you're in a situation with or it's work situations whatever it is you feel like all of the weight on the world is on you and it's like it's bringing both of you down for whatever reason it's like this person is saying save me save me and you're saying i can't save you i'm saving myself and it's like back and forth back and forth it's like it's like this codependent relationship of 
needing somebody so much that it's causing a feeling of suffocation and oppression, okay? That's just the source energy. Some of you could be going through that. Um, or just like a partnership is just not working. It's too pressurizing. It's too controlling. It's just, it's too, it's too messed up. Uh, what's the next card? The page of swords reverse. Well, this is a message you do not want to hear. Um, definitely a message you do not want to hear. This is where someone is gossiping, lying. Um, they're covering up the truth or they're trying to cover up the truth or the truth has been revealed about somebody's lies, about somebody's manipulation, about somebody's gossip. Um, this is coming through the wires thick and fast. It could be coming through text, email, phone calls, like somebody knows something. And I think the thing about this is, is that, you know, someone may have wanted to get out of a relationship to be in a third party situation, like a mistress energy, but they got caught. This could also be where someone is trying to get out of the mistress energy because they got caught. So it's one of two things. They got rid of somebody else in order to be put into a mistress or a mister energy, a third party, and they got caught or you got caught. And now all of that information is out for everybody to hear. Or um, you are now in that third party and you want to get out of that third party because the grass was not greener on the other side and now everybody knows about what you did or what someone else did and there's a potential loss of money uh, there's a potential feeling of like okay i maybe moved too fast with this person so i i gotta find a way to slowly back out of this situation because it doesn't serve me it's too much um i thought it was going to be fun i thought this person was my soulmate i thought this person was my twin flame i thought this person was everything i wanted but they they really weren't it was just it was just trauma bonding with somebody okay so that could have been you leo or that could have been somebody you were involved with that went through this so why is the two of wands reversed yeah the page of cups upright so when somebody broke away from you or when you broke away from somebody else so let's talk about when you broke away from when somebody broke away from you, okay? So when somebody broke away from you, if you had someone else kind of on the side or there was someone else kind of lying in, in like a vulture waiting to pounce, right? They hit you with massive love bombing. The minute you were free, boom, love bombing like you would not believe, okay? Now, that is if someone like left you, all right? If you are leaving someone, if you were actually leaving someone that was actually a third party and you're leaving them now, okay, that could be where they also come back in and love bomb you because they don't want to let you go. And you're like, look, I want to be nice. I want to be loving. I want to be kind. I want to be your friend. But no, they want to love bomb you. They want to you know, hit you from left field. They want to like catch you off guard. Um, they want to emotionally drown you, okay? Because if you look at this, it's, there's water with this two of wands and they're gonna drown if they don't get those burdens off of them. So you're trying to remove it, but they keep coming back out of left field, doing the love bombing and I miss you and okay, I was wrong. I should have said I was wrong. And you know, all that stuff, Leo, it's, it's really, it's just not worth it. This could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or it could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, um, child as well. Uh, maybe the child is caught off guard that you are now out of a relationship. They're like, what, what happened? What's going on here? And they're finding out the truth of the situation. Maybe they're finding out you lied. All right. Or vice versa. You found out they lied. Okay. Hold on a second, I'm gonna let my dogs in. Okay. They should be pretty good. 
Um, so anyway, that may have happened to you, Leo, or it may have happened to a child, someone around you. Now, the thing about it is, is there is some sort of news that's coming out. It is the truth that's coming out. But it is a truth that's coming out that someone was trying to cover up or somebody was lying about. So what is the outcome of this when this truth comes out and these lies are discovered? The Two of Wands. Upright. Don't you find this interesting, Leo, that you got the Two of Wands reversed, that you have recently gotten out of or you feel it's just overly like overwhelming, it's too much, there's too much emotional baggage or too much emotional turmoil, and then the Two of Wands comes in in the upright. Like the search continues, right, Leo? The search continues. Or you're finding out from someone else, maybe a good friend who went through this, the search continues. That person is no longer with that person. Can you hold on just one second, Leo? Just hold on one second. I need to keep them from going upstairs because they jump on my bed and they sleep on my bed and I can't have that. So anyway, that's why I did what I did, Leo. All right, Leos. So yeah, so whatever this uh, news is that's coming out, the lies are being revealed. If they're your lies, they're being revealed. If they're somebody else's lies, they're being revealed. If it was gossip, it's being revealed. Like all of that, Leo. Oh, Brandon, how are you doing? Brandon wanted to come up and help with the cards, right, Brandon? Yes, you're such a good girl. You're such a good girl. Um, okay, thank you, Brandon. So the thing about it is, is remember, the card here, the the Five of Pentacles, thank you, Brandon. The Five of Pentacles here, um, that is all about, like, throwing somebody out in the cold. That is all about um, error, mistress, um, mistake, losing money, um, you know, not asking for help, you know, that type of thing. Thank you, Brandon. That type of thing. So if you look at the bottom row, this is what this says to me. Someone got out of a relationship that was probably toxic because the truth came out, possibly about an affair or a mistake that was made or losing money. That's one. The other one is someone was caught out of left field. Someone was being kind and being loving, but they were caught out of left field. They were not expecting this at all in the past. They were not. Someone said that they wanted to go towards maybe another relationship or they needed time. But see, that was a lie, right? Oh, I just need time. No, you wanted to find another relationship. Possibly because they got caught up in their own lies. Definitely got caught up in their own lies. But went to another relationship and now is reticent to even offer somebody something. And why are they slowing down with this relationship now? I mean, they were full on ready to travel the world with them and go everywhere with them and do this and do that and da 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 da. And they're slowing it down. Why? Maybe guilt? Maybe they feel a little bit guilty? Maybe their lies are exposed? They're being exposed for who they are? And they feel embarrassed or they feel like they have to slow down a little bit in a situation. It's possible. But let's see what the other energy is. Or why this energy is here for sure. This is why the Page of Cups is here. This is why the Two of Wands is here. And this is why the King or the Knight of Pentacles is here. Let's find out what is going on with the source energy. What is going on with the source energy? 
why the two of wands is reversed, why this lie is exposed, and why the five of pentacles is now here for you. Okay, why is the two of wands reversed? The page of wands reversed and the nine of wands reversed. Okay, so the page of wands reversed is no more passionate communication, no more passionate movement forward, um, and someone else put their guard down, or somebody put their guard down. Okay, so someone, and, and please remember, in this card, remember, it's someone who abuses someone else to make themselves look better. So someone was abusing someone else to make themselves look better, and they did so through the... Um, through the way that they were getting somebody to let their guard down. But someone got weighed down by that. Someone got way, way down by that. And the result of that was someone getting hit out of left field. Um, they wanted to get out of this trap. They wanted to get out of this, you know, suffocation and oppression, whatever, you know, that may have been. And someone may have even been asking someone, well, be friends with them. You have to be friends with them. So um, that's what you should do. You should be friends with them. Try to get them to let their guard down. You, you've got to be careful with this, especially in like friendship groups and love relationships, especially where third parties are situated. When you have a woman, let's just talk about the third party. But when you have a woman who is now dating your ex and she's telling him to get that person's guard down, be friends with them. You need to be friends with them. That is that is a big red flag. It's huge. And she's not doing it out of the kindness of her heart. She's doing it because she needs to feed. So she has something to talk about with this person to keep him low vibration. So... This happens, right? And then the outcome is this page of cups. This emotional tidal wave comes in. Why is this here? The Knight of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. So basically what happened here with this big tidal wave is that someone took action and they took action by telling somebody to wait, hold off, I need time, I need space, I need this, I need that. Someone was not expecting this at all. And so this could be in business, this could be in family, this could be, you know, you were collaborating with someone, could have been anything like that. Okay, but action was taken to like make somebody wait or to invest in a different way in this relationship or this dynamic. So this is not what somebody was expecting. But then the truth came out. Okay, and this is in present time. This is the energy I'm reading for the Leos right now. The truth came out. There were lies that were revealed. Deceptions that were revealed. Actions that were revealed. Why? The hanged woman or hanged man reversed. Someone is no longer going to be the scapegoat. Someone is no longer going to be hung out to dry. Someone is no longer going to be tethered to something. Someone is done thinking. Someone is done accepting. Someone is done allowing in a situation. And the four of cups reversed. Someone now realizes that there was someone in their life that they basically threw away. Okay, it was a gift from God or a situation they threw away, an opportunity they threw away that was a gift from God. They basically pounded that cup like literally on the pavement. They ran over it with a four by four. They threw it up, you know, against, you know, the wall, whatever. I mean, they destroyed it. But now they're reeling, they're realizing that it was the Ace of Cups. They were stubborn. They wanted to party. They wanted to go out and have fun. They wanted to, you know, mingle. They wanted to be single. They wanted whatever, whatever it is, whatever the story is. Someone had their attention on 
friendship groups, partying, having fun, going out, having a good time, you know, being footloose and fancy free. And there's nothing wrong with that. But if you're lying or you are gossiping about someone that you're in a relationship in order to do so, that is wrong. Okay. Now someone is realizing whoever that person was that they just threw away a gift from God, they are now realizing the gift that they are. They are upset by what they did. Very, very upset. It's almost like someone is saying, I jumped out of the frying pan and into the fire on this one. I did. I did. That's all there is to it. And so here it is. And what is the outcome of that? The outcome of that is two of wands. Okay, why is the two of wands here? The king of pentacles and the six of wands. The king of pentacles is a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo, sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Jupiter. They want to get their reputation back. They want their, like, you know, um, pristine reputation back of being, you know, um, stable, loyal, respectful, all of that. Grounded, foundational, financially stable. And there's the reputation right there. That's what they want. They want to be partnered with someone that makes them look good. See that? In public. That's what they want. So they want to partner with somebody who's got some clout. They want to partner with somebody who's got some presence. They want to partner with somebody who's got, you know, dot, 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 dot. But again, you've got to look at the energies that are combined with this. These are the overarching energies here, right here. These are the present energies. Okay. So whatever came out about the situation, the truth came out about somebody being thrown out of a house, someone being treated with disrespect, someone being pushed out into the cold. There may have been an error. There may have been a mistress. There may have been, had been another person and there may be financial loss. That's what's coming out right now. All right. And it's coming out because I believe there had to have been some sort of karma or some sort of payback for keeping somebody in the lurch or keeping somebody waiting or keeping somebody like on a string, like on the side, keeping them tethered. And God's saying, no, that is my child. I am not going to allow that to happen. So I'm going to have to teach you a lesson. I'm going to have to let the truth out on this one. So why was the five of pentacles here? What caused the five of pentacles? Yeah, the high priestess secrets, um, definite secrets here and psychic abilities as well. Um, I think someone may have been in a relationship with someone else that was psychic and they could see what they were doing. They could feel what they were doing. They could, they could hear what they were doing and they, and they were trying to keep these things hidden. They were trying to keep all of these things hidden. That is not going to happen with a psychic. It just won't, especially a psychic. That's a divine feminine. There's no way that people are going to be able to get away with, um, hypocritical energies or energies that don't match up because people who are high priestesses or high priests, they actually translate energy. That's how they speak. It's like they have, they're multilingual, right? They've got, they speak whatever, you know, native language they have, but they also read the energies like a book. It's like this. It's like you're reading a book, Leo, and it's like, okay, this is how it is for, for like the high priest, the high priestesses. This is how it's translated to them. So they get energy 
that's coming in from others. And they know when there is a contradictory energy. So if you're somebody who doesn't read energies, it would be like you were reading a book and it says, Timmy Smith went into the store. And then the next sentence is, Timmy Smith did not go into the store. Right? They're contradictory. They don't follow any type of logical conclusion. So this Queen of Swords, I'm sorry, for this um, High Priestess, picked up, picked up on all of like the undercurrents. And then when a high priestess attaches to those undercurrents and she asks universe, is this what it is? Is this not what it is? What happens is she'll get messages. She'll get messages that come in. People will call her. People will confirm for her what's going on. You know, that's just it, the truth is attracted to them. Okay. They know the truth, but they may not be saying a whole heck of a lot right now, or something was absolutely kept 100% a secret. And this had to do with the four of wands reversed. This had to do with um, a home or a family situation where someone was either moving out of a home or they were kicked out of the home. Um, the home was not stable. The home is not, um, it, it's not a happy home. It's like someone is no longer welcome anymore in someone's home. Um, so that's why someone's being very, very quiet towards someone. But but that's why the Five of Pentacles is here. Okay? So the reason the Five of Pentacles is in this present moment right now being released, being broadcasted out into the world is because somebody tried to keep a secret about their home. About why someone was not allowed in their home. About why someone did not feel welcome in their home anymore why someone left the home it was a big secret okay so now that this energy is out there and is transpiring as we speak okay that caused a king of pentacles i'm sorry a knight of pentacles moment what is going on with this Knight of Pentacles? Whoa, justice. This is karmic justice is what this is. It's rebalancing and karmic justice. Yep. Because somebody overindulged in something. Someone didn't heal from a situation. Someone is not balanced. Uh, someone um, has delays with travel, possibly. Someone is not an earth angel at all. So this is why someone now has to hold back on a situation. They have to hold back on their pentacle or they have to hold back on giving value to something. They have to hold back on something because now karmic justice is coming out and revealing that someone was a fallen angel or someone wasn't healed or someone overindulged in something. That's what this is. Okay. Okay. So let's see what we've got going on for your overarching theme. <clears throat> it's like all of a sudden one day somebody is there and then the next week they're like, where is that person? And they're just gone. They're just not there anymore. The fool. So you do have the fool energy. So for some of you Leos... You don't want any attachments. You don't want to be attached to anyone. You just want to be a free, a free, um, a free agent. Okay. You, you just want to be enthusiastic about life. You want to travel light. You just want to go and do what you want to do. But for others of you, Leos, if you did commit these types of atrocities, basically, um, then you are now looking at yourself as the fool, as someone who was foolish to have, um, done something like this to someone else because now somebody's getting karma that could be you but that could be somebody else as well
let's see what's going on with love, Leos. Games. Someone figured out somebody's games. Someone's no longer playing any games. Someone's game playing was revealed or was... Um, Yeah, it's just like the lies being revealed. Someone's game playing manner has been revealed 100%. And there's no joy. There's there's just no joy in this, in playing games. So Leos, you might be saying to yourself, look, I don't want to play games. I'm not joyful. I'm not happy. I'm out of here. I'm going to go. I don't need to be part of this anymore. This could be at work. This could be with family. This could be with love. This could be with friends. This could be whatever. It's like, I don't want to be part of this anymore. I just don't. This doesn't make me joyful. Or someone could be saying that to you, Leo. Okay, let's see what's going on with your crystal ally. What is your advice with the crystal ally? divine connection. So I think mostly, Leo, you are looking for that divine connection. You're looking for, you know, your divine feminine, your divine masculine, your, your, you want to be in a divine connection with somebody. And right now, um, you don't feel that you don't feel like you have a divine connection with someone, or someone doesn't feel like they have a divine connection with you. And that's what you're looking for. You're looking for the divine connection. Now, this could also be where maybe you want to carry amethyst with you, but it could also be where you need to find that divine connection between you and source so that you don't get, you know, brought in to like these games anymore. Okay. So just remember the reading goes both ways. This, you could have been the cause of this energy. Someone else could have been the cause of this energy. You could be going through this energy or someone else around you could be going through this energy. But I just want to wish all of you Leos the best. Uh, much light, much love, many blessings and catch you on the flip side.